while a certain company cannot count numbers will look like the logo like iOS 19 will be iOS 2026 how and why like it doesn't even match the year name it's 2025 Forget that. One UI 8 is here, and we at Techwiser have always had pretty good future prediction when it comes to 5G. One UI being better than Pixel UI, and I think the latest One UI 8 continues that streak. Somehow, I find it better than Android 16. Look at the clock app. Look at the freaking volume sliders. I mean, I have nothing against Gen Z, but I don't think Android 16 got that vibes. Also, you might have a bunch of questions. When will your phone get One UI 8? Like. My S23 just received One UI 7. Why the hell is One UI 8 out now? Well, folks, Android is changing, and we'll get to all of that. But first, the top seven changes that you see in One UI 8, obviously, from the least to the best. Let's go with the flow in the video. Can't get more cringy than that. Now this is One UI 8 Beta 1, and maybe more features or updates will come, and things will change as time goes on. But as of now, if you keep One UI 7 and One UI 8 side by side, you would see that everything is now slightly bigger in One UI 8, like the clock screen widgets. In fact, the now bar. If you see Samsung internet settings, gallery settings, everything is bigger. And this is not like Android 16, ugly big. This is bigger yet more categorized. Like if you go to the files app, every quick folder has its own section. In fact, the widgets on the home screen can now be made even bigger. The icon inside these widgets are now bigger. Video frame rate settings appear bigger. Now I appreciate the bigger icons here because all the phones are getting bigger now. Like the S25 Ultra touches a whopping 6.9 inch, so it's better if companies use that bigger space well in the UI. Now talking about the use of bigger space now bar now supports more apps like if you are on a google meet call you will just see it under your thumb on now bar in fact dnd also now shows up on the now bar and the best one if you are on a call it shows up on the now bar call timer shows up here if you tap on the call icon it takes you back to the call screen but i think this call screen should be tinier and more optimized in the coming beta updates it's good to see that now bar supports more samsung and google apps but i want more third party apps to support now bar like zomato swiggy blinkit etc that way people will use this feature much more and on a daily basis also talking about the now bar a small change is now if you tap on the now bar you get haptic feedback like this music's album art if you go to the settings menu you can see the previous screen and there's again this haptic feedback So overall haptic feedback in One UI 8 is little bit more refined. Now I want Samsung to implement more haptics in the overall UI. Like there's no haptics when you increase brightness or decrease volume. Like haptics is one area where I feel Android or Hyper OS is better than One UI. Now one area where One UI has always been ahead is features. And my favorite one is secure folder because I have lots to hide. Now with One UI 8, when you share anything like photos, now you directly have a secure folder tab here. So in case you have that sensitive photo and you want to move it to the secure folder, instead of opening the secure folders gallery, you can now directly do it here from the normal gallery. Also under Galaxy AI, you have the secure folder tab. You can change the settings right from here. In fact, Samsung Gallery now gets private album, so you can move all your photos in one album and then securely password protect it or put a fingerprint lock. Similarly, Quick Share is also changed. Now when you share anything using Quick Share, you get a quick glimpse of the images along with their file size. In fact, now you see a dedicated tab to send and receive files. Now another minor improvement is you get a couple of more two dynamic wallpaper options, two extra dynamic wallpaper options. There's one more clock style on the lock screen, rest everything remains the same. Now the biggest change in One UI 8 has to be Samsung Dex. See, if I connect my Samsung phone now to this display, this is the new UI of Samsung Dex. You see, everything is much concentrated at the center. It looks less like a Windows PC and more of like a Samsung tablet UI. I think Samsung is trying to make One UI consistent on every platform. Rest the scaling of the windows, arranging the icons, everything remains same. Also, now you can change the screen resolution of the display output here from your phone. Like Max, you can set it up at Quad HD. You can also change display rotation, which is very handy if you're using a vertical monitor setup. and this last feature is something that we have seen before comment if you know what i'm talking about let's check the community's tech knowledge 
Now in split screen, you can do a 90 to 10 ratio. So the second app can be as less as this. And if you have to switch between the apps, you just have to tap and it switches. This is more helpful when you're quickly switching between YouTube and WhatsApp, like when you're watching a video and also texting someone on WhatsApp. And finally, who will get One UI 8? See, this beta one is now available only on the S25 series. In fact, it's not even available on S25 Edge. You'll have to sideload the update using Shizuku. I'll try to leave a link of a detailed article in the description. Now, One UI 8 will start rolling out for the S24 series next. Now, Android here is changing. Android is doing a major change to the update schedule. So previously Android beta came in like June and the final update came in December. But now Android wants to launch new updates in June, six months before. Basically Android wants to beat Apple when it comes to the newest Android update. So let's see how iOS 18, iOS 19, right? oh sorry, iOS 26. Whatever version iOS <laughs> launches, let's see how they respond. So this year, you will see two Android releases from every brand in just one year. Like One UI 7 came recently and now there's One UI 8. So this will only happen for this year. Two Android updates per year for every company, only for 2025. Also, be careful if you're installing the update. This is beta update and not meant to install on primary smartphone. On that note, this is signing off. Subscribe to TechVisor for everything latest in tech and see you in the next video. Pew pew.